what's going on people switchbrew here and welcome back to another youtube video so in this youtube video what i'm going to be showing you how to do is how to get full root access on the android 11 system on your nintendo switch console so the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to download the magisk apk which the link for the following file will be put down in the youtube description once you've downloaded it as you can see it's a .apk file so the first thing you'll need to do is you want to go ahead and go down to you want to sorry you want to right click on the file you want to go down to show more options and you want to go ahead and click rename where the file is called .apk you want to delete this and change it to .zip it's going to come up with a message which says if you change the file name extension it may become unusable that is fine just go ahead and click yes and as you can see that's now a .zip file what you can go ahead and do is if you double click it as you can see inside it's got all the following files in here like so so the next thing you will want to do is you'll either want to mount your nintendo switch console to the pc or you'll want to go ahead and remove the sd card and plug it into your pc that way once you've done that what you want to do is go ahead and drag this file onto the root of your sd card so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and go to tools usb tools in hakate and click on sd card and that's going to mount it to my pc so what I'm going to do is go ahead and click down here, I'm going to continue without scanning and as you can see here's my root of my SD card so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and drag this file over. Once this file's dragged over what you want to do is go ahead and eject your SD card and plug it back into your switch or eject the USB and then we can go ahead and switch over onto the switch console and I'll show you what to do from there. So guys, as you can see now, we're now in Hecate. So what you want to do is you'll want to boot into Android. However, you'll want to hold the volume up button while doing so. So on my Switch, if I go into launch, I have got a shortcut in here for Android. But you guys may have it in the more config section. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on more config. You want to hold the volume up button and you want to go ahead and press on Android. Once you've pressed on it, keep hold of the volume up button. And what this is going to do is it's going to boot into the recovery system. So I'm just going to keep hold of this for now and hopefully we boot into the recovery. So as you can see, we've now booted into the recovery. What you want to do is go ahead and click apply update. You then want to go to choose from switch SD card. And you then want to go ahead and select the magisk.zip file. So I'm going to click that now. And what it's going to do is going to it's going to go ahead and pop up with a message saying signature verification has failed. You just want to go ahead and press the yes button. Once you've pressed the yes button, what it's going to do is go ahead and install the magisk. So what we're going to do is wait for this to finish. Once it's finished, we're going to go ahead and click the volume back sorry not the volume back button the back arrow and then what you want to do is go ahead and click reboot system now what this is then going to do is it's going to boot you back into android so what i'm going to do is go ahead and fast forward the video until we get to the android boot screen or the main menu should i say So as you can see, we're now booted into Android. So what you want to do is slide to unlock. I'm going to put in my very secure lock screen passcode and go ahead and enter Android. Once in Android, what you want to do is go to the main application screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this button here. And you now should have Magisk installed. And as you can see, there it is. So as you can see at the moment, this is a blank icon. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on it. This is then going to say upgrade to the full magisk setup just go ahead and press ok and what this is going to do is it's going to download it and then it'll say do you want to install you just want to go ahead and click yes and that should have installed magisk to your console you then want to go ahead and click on the icon once again and it's going to open this up it says here, uh, requires additional setup. Your device needs to reflash magisk to work properly. Just go ahead and click OK. And go ahead on this and click back. And then you want to go ahead and go home. So I'm going to press the home button. I'm going to go into the menu again. And as you can see, magisk is now there. If we then go to the root checker. And let this open up. 
and you want to go ahead and click verify route you want to go ahead and press the grant button and as you can see we have now got full root access on the nintendo switch console so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching please subscribe to the youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video